All right, here we go. So when you finish putting your photo into the template and you get your template all kind of squared away, what you're gonna do is you are gonna walk over towards the windows and the supply table. I'm right in the middle of the room and you're gonna grab one of these pieces of paper. Now, the, your first reaction might be, wow, this is a much larger piece of paper than I thought we were gonna get, um, but it's not too big. It is gonna be a pretty good size for landscapes. So what we need to do first is we have to understand how to put the image and how to put the template on this piece of paper, okay? Now, if you look at your template in Google Drawings, there are numbers and letters. Those numbers and letters do not exist on this paper. Technically, the numbers and letters would be off to the side and onto the top, okay? But just the red rectangle that was in that template is gonna be what we put on this paper. So if you count your rows and you count your columns, you should have noticed that you have six rows and you have eight columns, <clears throat> okay? So how, we, how do we wanna do this um, with our paper? Now, luckily, I'm nice, <laughs> and I already cut this paper. I hand cut every piece of paper to make sure that our dimensions are proportional <clears throat> to our template. <clears throat> that way, when we actually go to do this, it's gonna be easy to measure and easy to line up. So what we need to do and this is pretty simple, is you just need to simply make sure that you measure this, you keep your ruler steady, and that you put a mark every two inches. So if I'm measuring the, the um, columns first, up and down, I need to put my ruler on the bottom of my paper from left to right, make sure that it's actually starting on the first mark of the ruler. I'm gonna put a mark at two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. I'm gonna go to the top of my paper. I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I can leave a little strip like this, doesn't have to be exact. Put my ruler right on the edge of the paper. Put a mark at two, don't move the ruler, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Okay, take my ruler off. I don't need that number anymore. I don't need this number anymore. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my ruler. I'm gonna mark, I'm gonna put my first two points together on the ruler. Make sure I spread my fingers out. Don't let the ruler move. Take my pencil, hold it towards the end and just lightly drag it along the inside. So I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna drag my ruler. <clears throat> The next one and I am basically just going to keep working my way down the paper connecting the dots making my columns nice and neat oh I just messed that up good thing I drew a light line hopefully you did too let me reconnect those I saw that inch mark from the 16 I knew I shouldn't have done that take my pencil <clears throat> lightly drag it that's probably even a little bit too dark but at least you can see it in the video. Lightly drag it. Two more to go. One more here. Let's see. Got it. Okay. Now, I should, if you want to just take a quick double check, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is perfect because it is going to give me my eight rows or my eight columns, right? So this should be column one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, what I need to do is rotate my paper because I still need to do these rows. Rotate it, <clears throat> same thing, left to right, put the ruler down, make sure it doesn't move. Put a mark, two, always two inches, four, six, eight, 10, I'm making life easy. Go to the bottom of my paper, put the ruler down, make sure it's accurate, don't let it move. Two, four, six, eight, 10, got it. Take my ruler, let me show you so you can see it. Take my ruler, line it up, 
hold the end of my pencil really lightly and make these nice rows. Now, as I do this, I'm going to kind of keep talking to you about what the next step is going to be. When you get your grid done, so we're just lightly drawing these lines, this grid is going to match everything that is inside of the red rectangle. Okay? So as I finish this last row, you can do a quick double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect, because that's going to give me box A, B, C, D, E, and F. Okay? So this is what we are going for for the final draft, right? Now, let me grab my computer real quick. <clears throat> okay, I got my computer. I got my image pulled up. Some of you may have noticed that my image was vertical, so I'm going to have to draw it like this. But all I need to do is I need to find the first box. So let's say you're drawing like this. I'm going to go to box A1, and I'm going to look at box A1 on my computer. And whatever is inside this box, even if it's a cloud, if it's a cloud, I can just lightly kind of sketch out where that cloud belongs. But if it's like a mountaintop, and I got this nice ridge and it enters and exits the box here and it comes into box B2 and it goes up and down. Okay, I'm gonna draw the entire landscape going box by box, making sure that I'm looking at my final draft paper that's already mapped out. And I'm going back and forth between this and my template. And I wanna make sure that every piece of that landscape is in the correct box. That way when I'm done, we will have accurate proportion, we'll have accurate scale, and it's gonna make the whole thing look nice and neat, and it's gonna make us look like professionals. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully you could hear me with my horrible voice. That's all for now.